Hi, I'm Honda Pro Jason. Today I'm gonna to walk you guys around the all new 2017 Honda CRV. This one right here is a touring edition. Follow me and let's have some fun. This CRV is now the fifth generation. And did you know for the past 20 years, it's been the best selling crossover in the US? And now the best keeps getting better, starting with this new front end. Check out all this additional chrome they added to the top grill. And then down here, they've added an active shutter system, which actually opens and shuts depending on vehicle speed to save you guys gas. These headlights are now LED for high beam and low beam, adding in fog lights. Coming around to the side, I love Honda's new bold and aggressive styling, starting with these 18 inch alloy wheels. Honda kept the side mirrors foldable forward and backward, but they've added a turn signal indicator and blind spot information on the passenger side and driver side. If someone's in your blind spot, this will light up, and if you put your turn signal on, it'll actually audibly tell you someone's there. When it comes to the key fob, Honda's added a couple of key features. A way to put the windows down on those hot summer days in order to air out the inside of the car, and a remote start for those cold winter nights. Remember all that chrome I showed you guys on the front end? Honda has continued that all the way down the side of the vehicle, all the way back here to the capitalist fuel system, that's gonna save you time at the gas station. But wait, there's more. Now, let's check out the back. I really like what Honda did with this new rear end. Starting with the LED taillights and brake lights, but adding LED turn signals. Continuing that piece of chrome all the way across the back, but also adding chrome exhaust finishers. And there's dual exhaust, because all Hondas with turbos now get dual exhaust. And sure, Honda has a backup camera, but this year they added a multi-view camera with cross-traffic monitoring. You can open up the rear easily using the key fob, but you can also press the button in the rear or there's a button inside. Once inside, Honda still has its 60-40 split, but now it folds flat so you can easily load longer items in. Plenty of cargo room, but that's just the beginning of the interior. Let's go up front and see what else Honda has. Honda has completely redesigned the interior, starting with the driver's seat. It's now 12-way adjustable, including four different positions for lumbar. So lumbar just doesn't go out and in anymore. It also goes up and down. And now with personalized keys for driver and passenger, you can not only set your seat settings, but also how the doors are gonna lock, unlock, and walk away out of lock. Coming across to the steering wheel, Honda keeps it simple. All your audio controls with Bluetooth are on the left-hand side, and all your sensing controls are on the right. The instrument cluster is clearly marked with the tachometer on top, and a digital speedometer just underneath it. And there's more information down here, like the all new driver's attention monitor. Gives you an audible or visual alert if you're driving drowsy. This center area is so clean looking with this beautiful seven inch display, showing off your navigation, your audio system, phone information, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and what is this? An actual volume knob? Yep, Honda actually brought back the volume knob. Coming down here, you have dual climate control, an electronic parking brake with brake hold, one of your power outlets, in your center console, you have another power outlet, two USBs, and enough room for a laptop. Don't worry, Honda didn't forget about the passengers in the back. With doors that open up at 90 degrees for easier access, more interior leg room, and a nice addition, two USB ports, 2.5 amp. These are located just under the vents in the center console. These are strong enough to charge a tablet. How passenger friendly is that? This CRV is powered by a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine with 190 horsepower, 179 foot pounds of torque, mated to a CVT with all wheel drive, and still rated at 33 miles per gallon on the highway. And those are just a few of my favorite features on the 2017 Honda CRV. For more information or a test drive, visit your local Honda dealership. And as always, I'm the Honda Pro, and now you're in the know.